No short-term rental moratorium for Maui. That was the announcement from Governor Green today, who says the state has reached the minimum number of units to house families impacted by the wildfire. But thousands remain in hotels. Bryce Moore has details. Over 3,000 people who were displaced by the fires on August 8th remain in hotels as officials work to get them into more permanent housing, down from almost 8,000 last August. The governor says some of the 31,000 short-term rentals on island could and should be used to house them, even threatening a moratorium from December up through March. But his tone was different today. We have enough units across Maui, but we still have some shortage of units uh, in West Maui. So I'm going to continue to ask for people if they have short term rentals or other capacity to rent to our people to still go to helpingmaui.org backslash offer. Green says many of the short term rentals are already illegal, urging his attorney general to form a task force to crack down. I can't assure those individuals at all that they're going to be able to continue to rent their places out as short term rentals. What I would humbly ask them to do is go to that website voluntarily rent for the next two years, probably through FEMA or through us, let us handle these rentals, and then, frankly, transition out, sell your properties to local families. So why keep the programs open if there are enough available units that have signed on? Some people are going to fall out of contract. Other people will lose patience and leave. It's, it's kind of like you have to restock the shelves in some cases because if you lose certain numbers of units... Uh, you don't want to be left in the lurch and then have someone stuck in a hotel room again for another month. And permits to rebuild Lahaina homes, if there are no hiccups in installing infrastructure, could be doled out by the end of 2024. I think that, especially around the edges of the fire, you're going to see the infrastructure um, start creeping in more quickly. The governor adds if all goes well with the state and FEMA programs and modular homes coming in, every single one of the 3,000 plus residents still in hotels will be transitioned into more permanent housing by July 1st. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.